This is Daily Flash with your hosts, Andrea Jackson and Mitch English. Trending news and entertainment. This is Daily Flash. Hi, everyone. I'm Andrea Jackson. I am Mitch English, welcoming you to Daily Flash. We also got Matt Doolittle. We'll be checking in with him just a little bit later on. One of the most elusive artists. How we don't know who this guy is still blows my mind. We're yeah. talking about Banksy. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're mm -hmm. not familiar with him, you've probably heard of his work yep. or seen it seen mm -hmm. it somewhere along the lines of people copying it. Basically, he's a graffiti artist that uh, no one knows who he is. Uh, he just shows up and then people just love his art and they mm -hmm. call it art. And it's, uh, it's, it's sold for millions of dollars of uh, some of his artwork that he's just put on as graffiti. Well, there's a zoo in London that... He, he tagged is okay. basically what the word is if you mm -hmm. spray paint your, sure. your art on there. Sure, Grandpa. You, you tag it. <laughs> you tag it what you do, Grandpa. Uh, and, well, the zoo are like, well, we got to tear down this wall. They don't want to, but they're like, we're going to go ahead and preserve this wall because it's got art on it because Banksy did it. Sure. And it's actually a big thing in London right now. They've um, he, he has worked his way into animals now, which is the zoo appreciates. There's a howling wolf that they preserved that was on a satellite dish, a cat on a big billboard that they've taken down, and then a rhinoceros on a brick wall. Mm. Well, this one they're going to keep and they're going to uh, preserve it, possibly sell it later oh, if you think about sure. it. So I think it's a great idea. Yeah. And they almost want Banksy to do their artwork, their yeah. graffiti on the side of the building. And yet we don't know who he is. He could be in this room right now. We uh, no remember idea. when he sold one of his pieces of art for millions of dollars, I think, at one of the big fancy yes. auctions, and then moments later it was shredded live on television? <laughs> yeah. And it's like it's like performance art in a it, way, right? Indeed, it, it is. It's, it's nuts, but it's fascinating. It, it, the art of of just staying out of the public in this yes. day and age is even harder because somebody has to see him yeah. paint it and figure it out. When, when we were in he wears London, these boxes on his head. When we were in London, it was like a, a, a map quest. To, the, you found Read spots all over oh. London where he'd tag stuff and you'd go there and it'd be like 20 other people sitting there yeah. taking, taking pictures. pictures. Like, it's just on the street. I do remember being in, in, in New York City. Uh, I was there for one of the press junkets for one of the movies and you know they have those outdoor art fairs on the weekends, uh -huh. right? And I remember walking through and then I came back to my hotel room later that night and the lead story in the news was Banksy selling art, but nobody knew it was him. Only one painting was sold for $5. And I was like, oh my They didn't know God. who it was they Banksy. They didn't know it was Banksy. And he was selling his art at one of those little kiosks yeah, just, on an outdoor mart wow. for like five bucks a piece. And you know, only one guy purchased something. And that's probably worth millions. Yeah, yeah, and it's worth millions, exactly. Oh. A business exec is facing felony assault charges after he was caught on video throwing a teenager onto the floor of an In-N-Out burger. The 55-year-old Colorado businessman was at the burger joint when the teen splashed water on his wife. Video showed the man telling the startled-looking boy to say sorry before grabbing him and throwing him down. He and his wife left the restaurant before police arrived, but didn't really matter because he was identified by witnesses. The man has since been charged with felony assault and misdemeanor child abuse. It's a shame that that happens, you know, especially if you're an adult, you should know, uh, you know, yes. disrespecting your wife, that's one thing. You, you could handle it, certainly not in that manner. Exactly. In a much different way that probably would have taught a better uh, lesson, lesson than beating the crap out of them. Yeah, a, sometimes a I think when it comes to those things, you just got to take a breath, take a beat, walk away. I, it's easier said than done. It, it, 100%. Yeah. You could say he went animal style. That's oh, it. I'll man. My things. Did you, did you see, I was looking up, I was trying to, what was it called? <laughs> Yeah. I was calling it as a protein, but it's called no, animal. That's style. what I was looking up trying to figure that's it out. That's with the mustard, right? That's, no, with that's no, just where they put everything on the fries, and it's just a, and there's they, no bun, right? Isn't no, it? no, no, it's, no, no, it's where they take the fries and then they put all the like the that's cheese sauce called. and all the onions and all that on it. Very nice. Well, okay. that's probably why it didn't pop up when I looked for it. <laughs> all right, it's turned into a pillow fight uh, club of sorts. A North Carolina mom has the. Social media stratosphere divided with her decision to sleep over in her daughter's dorm on her first night away from co home at college. 48-year-old Lori Miggins, she posted a video on Instagram of her slumber party with her 18-year-old daughter at Appalachian State University. Lori's video quickly went viral. Some people loved it. Others accused her as like, you're a helicopter mom. Well, mom said that she actually got permission from both the college and her roommates, uh, her daughter's roommate, who was not there in the first place. Yeah. So it was not like he kicked her daughter out right. and she slept in him for one night. People are just so up in arms about this. And it's like, just, I understand. Yeah, you're going to have to let him go, but let that last moment Do, do you be. find you spend less time on social media? Maybe not. I know we're maybe kind of we in, need but, to. but maybe we need to.